Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to get an online sources address for your research paper. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's right there in the address bar, and I can just copy and paste that where I need it. And for normal websites, you might be right. But for database articles, even this video, you'd be wrong. Some online resources have permalinks. In other words, an online address that will never change. And they are rarely the ones in the address bar. If you're using any of the Learning Commons databases to find a source, the permalink address is almost always located in the abstract and details section. For example, when I do a search in ProQuest for a topic, I enter my topic. I choose full text and peer reviewed, and I get a list of results. Say I want to use this article. I open it and go to the abstract and details tab. Here I can see it has either a DOI address or an HTTPS address or both. If the article has both, always choose the DOI address since digital object identifiers are designed not to change. Videos usually have a share button, which will bring up a permalink to use in your citation. For example, this video in Academic Videos Online, I can click the share icon and I get an option for a permalink or an embed code. Now I can simply choose the link to use in my citation. So the key thing to remember from all of this is never trust the address bar and always use the permalink or DOI address in your citations. If you ever have any questions about finding a link for a source you are using, feel free to ask the tutors in the Writing Center or any of the Learning Commons staff. That's all for now. See you next time.